hello students uh, now i'll tell you some of the features regarding practical one uh, there are some additional features which you can use and some other process beyond adding the questionaries so this is a part 2 section of your first practical and the first practicals video is already uh, posted on the youtube channel you can uh, watch that video first and then you have to watch this video they are interrelated to each other so uh, when you are going to download geo survey app from play store then after downloading it you have to enter your registered mobile number or your mobile number after entering it it will ask you whether it is a verified or not you will get one time password that is otp so you just have to copy that otp and you have to paste it if your otp is correct then definitely you will be processed further now i have already surveyed and i have total 3 responses okay in this again we'll take a response today so a respondent is a person who is going to give you the data of any family he will be telling you about how many members are there so this is the name of the respondent so head of the family is after that gender of the head of the family you have to enter age of the head of the family you have to enter then the qualification you have to enter then the occupation you have to enter then you have to enter the income then you have to enter the details of other family members so this is how you can enter the details then you have to enter about the properties owned then the type of house and then other things which were mentioned so this is how you are going to enter the things and the distance the total distance from your work and how much rupees you is your traveling cost that you are going to enter and then you will be taking a selfie with the respondent so if you click on the selfie the camera section will start you can start taking a selfie and then you have to press on next so this is how you have filled the data and then you have to write on finish after finishing now you have already uh, finished it so you can submit the response once you submit it will be added to the server you will get a message that your uh, specific detail is been added to the server now we'll close this now the next uh, feature which i'm going to tell you is the questionnaire now in the questionnaire uh, you are aware that you have in total 13 question but if now there are total 13 questionnaires the 14th one that i have added so i will be telling you that even you can add a questionnaires if you want so to add a questionnaire here you can see at the right hand side up there are three dots just click there add question so you can write the question in marathi you can write the question in english also suppose i write 
which which city you belong to and then you have to select the type of answer means whether your particular question has a single choice it has a multiple choice it has a number or it is an open ended question you have to select according to it okay so if it is an open ended question so then after finalizing it you just have to go back and you have to press on next okay so it will come like that so if you select a question with an option now again i'm adding a question with an option what is your qualifications okay so here i'm going to uh, add the options that is a single choice means out of so many options uh, that person has to select a single choice and after that i'll just uh, press on next and then the question uh, then there is a thing that comes that you have to add an option okay so here we'll write msc save add option again bsc save add option again mba save so this is how you can add the options and then you have to write the finish thing so now you can see that even that question has been added to your questionnaires so this is how you can update the questionnaires according to your convenience also so this was all about the questionnaires now i'll be telling you about export data so when you're going to press export app data so at this particular time what will happen your survey the details or the survey which you have done all the survey like uh, 15 surveys 15 family surveys you have done so that all detail will be exported to your teachers app means even a teacher is having one survey app where she is maintaining all the records of her student so this data will go in the teachers app now next thing is the help so when you go in the help you can see there is a student id then if you have any problem in registration if you have any problem in other things or in uh, teacher's code email id then you have to mail on gs survey at the rate balbhati.in okay so all the details or all the things are given here which can help you out while using this particular app here is the logout option at the right hand side so in the logout option if you log out then you have to enter the details again to log in you should know your all the details as well as you should know the teacher's code and because after logging out you can log in again also next is about us so this is about them that uh, what is the app version that is 2.4 what is the support geo survey at the rate bal bharti and what is the name of the app bal bharti geo survey app so this is all about them now i would like to tell you about the data management now in the case of data management you have two files one is excel file which is shown in green color and second is kml file which is shown in blue color both the files have three options that is download email and share same ways you have three options in kml also now i'll show you how you uh, how this operates exactly if i say download immediately the file will be saved in the internal storage memory in my mobile okay so wherever uh, there is an internal storage in the file manager this particular file that is excel file of the whole data which you had sent me is being saved now next option is email so when i click on the email an email will be sent here you see the notification mail sent an email will be sent by this particular app on my email id with the details of all the surveys which you have done next is share 
so when I click on the share option so you can share this particular excel copy on any of the options which have come on this particular screen so I will click on whatsapp so after that we'll just select and then I'll say share so you can see that there is a file shared I'll just open this file so this is how the file exactly looks so these are the five entries which survey I have done then these are the respondents family members detail where there was a question where we were entering the family numbers detail so this is how the family numbers details are also coming so this is the way how you can use this particular app in more efficient way now we'll see about geo teachers app as i told you that uh, the export is going to give the teacher the data so if there is a export and the teacher is getting the data then that all the data will come in this particular app where the teacher can see the data of that particular student whoever has added it okay so this is the data which the teacher has received which I which I had sent from the geo surveys app okay so that student has exported his data and has sent his data to the teachers app and now I can see now I can see the respondent name that these are the two students who has done the survey on so and so timing and, and on so and so date so according to that the teacher gets the whole information once you submit the survey or once you finish the survey so this is all about practical number one that is data collection using geo survey